An updated version of Tesla's new Model Y was recently revealed for sale in China and therefore other countries soon, about a month ago. So now when you buy the Model Y in China, you get the upgraded version. It's not, it hasn't been upgraded to the degree that the Highland Model 3 has, but it's definitely better than the old model. However, Tesla did not reduce the prices. And there's this narrative we've been hearing from the Wall Street Journal, the New York, Time, New York Post, all these other Wall Street publications, American media, Australian media, European media, that Tesla has forced the Chinese EV makers, in particular BYD, to lower their prices. Now, I don't believe that's correct because the new Model Y is actually significantly more expensive now. In fact, 20% more expensive than the brand new BYD Song L. The BYD Song L is clearly a very similar car to the Model Y, similar dimensions. It's actually a little bit bigger and looks very modern. It's got great specs, similar battery technology, LFP, LFP for the Model Y, LFP for the Song. BYD comes out, right? They say the price is going to be $34,000, $2,000 less than the base model Tesla Model Y. But then it goes on sale yesterday for $4,000 less than that, meaning you can buy one of these for $30,000 US dollars. I know there's a lot of Australians very keen on the Song L. So is it really Tesla forcing BYD here? Because on that same day that BYD revealed the price of the new Song L, which is actually a pretty damn good car, it also slashed prices of five different electric cars, including the Dolphin, the Addo 3 and the Seal. It did that in China. There was no changes to Tesla's prices. In fact, if anything, Tesla vehicles they are now more expensive in China than they have been for many months. The Model 3 has received a price increase. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I've got to say, guys, I think the Song L all-electric SUV is a great car. The price is extremely compelling. It's something you should probably consider if you live in China. Now, there's a lot of people keen on this car, but there is no confirmation from BYD that it will be sold outside of China. I don't believe it's in their right-hand drive production plans, at least for the immediate future. So unfortunately, it's not going to be an option, at least not next year. The BYD Song L Fastback SUV is now on sale in China for $30,100 US dollars. The most expensive version costs $38,000. It comes with four-wheel drive in its more expensive variants and up to 662 kilometers of range. That's actually not true though, guys. That's CLTC range. I personally think it should, we are seeing these ranges thrown about by media publications. They know they're making this stuff up, right? Guys, they're saying these cars have the stated range. They don't. CLTC is terrible. You can never go off that. It's so exaggeratory, it's ridiculous. But anyway, probably the estimated real world range might be around about 580 kilometers, which is still pretty good. The Song L is the newest BYD model that uses its e-platform 3.0 EV dedicated architecture. It's the same architecture used for the Seal, the Dolphin and the Addo 3. It's certainly not the lightest architecture, but it is definitely a good one. And BYD has adopted the brand's latest design I think this design of this BYD is probably better than any other BYD currently on sale, except for maybe their SUVs that are the Feng Chang Bao or whatever they're called. You can't get those out of side, outside of China either. And they're also very expensive, starting at 150,000 US dollars. Anyhow, what does this car have and what size is it? Well, it's decent in size. It's 4,840 millimeters long. So about 10 centimeters longer than a Model Y. Uh, so about probably three and a half inches longer. It's 1,950 millimeters wide and 1,560 millimeters high. Wheelbase, just under three meters, 2,930 millimeters. So what else does it have? Well, it has one amazing thing. This doesn't come on the base model, by the way, but it has the Dyson C suspension system. Now, for those of you watching the video, I'm just going to repeat that because otherwise I've seen people claiming otherwise. The base model does not have the Dyson C suspension system, which is very impressive. The more expensive two models do though. And it's definitely something to consider because it's kind of a revolutionary new suspension technology that's a little bit like the suspension on the Mercedes S-Class, which is incredibly impressive. Inside the Song has a huge 15.6 inch rotating floating screen 
and a 10.25 inch LCD instrument panel that's obviously just behind the steering wheel so the driver can see that. Now Car News China says that this Song L has a 50 inch heads up display. 50 inch, that's absolutely enormous. Plus it's Dialink or DI Link operating system powers the in-vehicle system and it has apparently die pilot driving assistance with over 30 functions. Now, to be fair, test those functions. If you're gonna buy one of these cars, if you're in China or if they do come out in Australia or other countries, in Europe, etc., you wanna test those driving assistance systems before you sign on the dotted line. They're not the greatest, but hey, these are still very good cars for the money. So how does this actually compare to the base Tesla Model Y, which is obviously the car that they are aiming to take on? First of all, it's actually pretty good. I mean, the range around about 500 kilometers on the WLTP cycle, so probably a little bit more than the Tesla Model Y standard range. It's got a 72 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate blade battery. It has 204 horsepower via a rear wheel motor, drive driven motor. So it's a little bit less horsepower than the new version of the Model Y, probably about 50 horsepower less, but I don't think anyone's gonna care about that. Acceleration though, it's quite a bit slower because it's quite a lot heavier than a Model Y. This is one of the drawbacks of some of, well, pretty much all the BYD's EVs. They're definitely a little heavier, but I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's worth you knowing that information. Acceleration, zero to 62 miles an hour, zero to 100 kilometers an hour is 8.6 seconds. The new Model Y can do that in about 5.9 to six, I think. But like I said, I don't think too many people care about those numbers anyway. That's the $30,000 model. Step up to the 32,800 model, which is still, what, nearly $4,000 cheaper than the standard range Model Y, and you're getting a few extra luxury features, basically. The Exceed version, which has a much bigger battery pack, costs a staggering 32,800. So this one's still nearly $4,000 cheaper than a Model Y. It doesn't have the same standard range features. The Model Y standard range just has a few features that this version of the Song is missing out on, but this Song does have very good range, around 600 kilometers of WLTP range with an 87 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate blade battery. Acceleration is much quicker. It'll do zero to 100 or zero to 62 miles an hour in 6.9 seconds. Honestly, that is an incredible deal, $32,800 for a battery pack that size in a car this size, which is actually a good car. It's, there's no way Tesla is forcing their hand because these prices are, I think they're too low. Uh, anyway, whatever the case may be, if BYD can make a profit selling them at this price, that's unbelievable. I don't know how they're doing that, it's incredible. The Excellence version has an 87 kilowatt hour battery, same specs as the, what I just revealed, costs a few thousand dollars more, gets some extra luxury features, the excellence version with dual motors. So it has quite a lot of power. In fact, this model is the flagship model and this costs $1,000 more than the Model Y standard range, right? It's got probably real world 550 kilometers WLTP range, about 100 kilometers more or nearly 100, about 90 kilometers or 60 miles more than the standard range Model Y. Plus, it gets 517 horsepower. It comes with four wheel drive. So it's got a motor at the front, a motor at the back. It does zero to 62 miles an hour or zero to 100 in 4.3 seconds. And like I said, it's only marginally more expensive than the Model Y long range. I mean, clearly this is nothing to do with Tesla's pricing. If it was, it wouldn't be so damn cheap. I don't think they need to make it this cheap to, to undercut Tesla Model Y. They've undercut it for almost every model except for the premium model, which only costs a thousand more. And it has a, a dual motor heaps of range quite a lot of luxury spec features as standard guys BYD have said they're making a profit on these cars i don't know how they're going to make a profit on this but i'm going to guess they will vertical integration is clearly the name of the game making your own batteries is clearly the name of the game here and if they do bring this vehicle out in australia don't buy a seal this is just a much better vehicle in my opinion um, it's so much more practical it looks better and it could be priced possibly if you look at the seal pricing, it's only about 5% more expensive than the BYD seal. Now, hopefully it comes out in other countries worldwide because this thing is it's pretty good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.